this is why you should always be cautious about the ads that you see on Facebook. This is nothing like what what they were showing that you were actually going to get. And I'm pretty sure if you email any of this, it's probably not even a real company. But I mean, at least they sent something, right? That's why I always wanted to test one of these. Because I, I mean, I know they send you fake stuff, but I mean... You're paying good money for something that you think is real but you know that's why you have to be really careful and it's always the same thing if the deal is too good to be true it probably is so what they sent here is looks like it's called cost cross country um had a charger an 800 milliamp nickel metal high drive battery and a usb charger very generic on a lot of like the wpls um, just China branded electronics usually come with this cheapo stuff and these these suck generally they don't last very long and they take a long time to charge So we'll just go ahead and remove all of these here and get everything out All right, so um shocks are not oil filled though obviously um this isn't even hobby grade to be honest this is toy grade although it does look like it has full proportional steering i'm not sure it doesn't actually no that's not a servo if if you listen to it it's that kind whenever you turn it goes bah, bah. now i will say i'd like the styling the top of this looks like a like a knockoff of a wraith um, I do like the colors. I, I didn't, like I said, I don't know what they were going to send me. Looks like it has some LED lights in the front. So, I mean, some design has gone into this. The suspension doesn't feel terrible. Uh, tires have no foam. And they're very hard and they're unglued at that. <laughs> oh, man. This is just such a mess. These drive shafts, um, puny little things are plastic. I'm assuming this, these are what control it. Either that or there's an electronic signal that comes from these wires to a motor inside. Here we have a battery for the door. Yeah, and that's where the battery goes. Yep, so I believe transmission might be in here and it sends the signal to, to a motor in the rear. Huh, very interesting. I don't know, but this this is uh, definitely not what, what I ordered. So, um, like I said, just just always keep, you know, be very aware about what you order on Facebook. And not, not only in addition are they sending you stuff that isn't advertised, but you also have to think, you entered your credit card information. Um, this one I have, I entered a secure credit card. So um, if there's anything abnormal, it sends me a message. But, you know, I'm, I'm putting these to the test for you guys. Wow, this is like the weirdest controller. It looks like a... Looks like a laser gun, just like pew, 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 pew. the the steering is all the way up at the front. This is just so weird. I don't I don't like this at all. It's 2.4 gigahertz, so that's a good thing. If they if you bought multiple of these, at least you could use them at the same time. But this thing is just the weirdest thing. But I'm still gonna charge up this battery and see what it can do. Check out this quality. You thought I was kidding about that noise, right?
Yes, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because I really saw Well, I hope we learned something important today. Don't listen to all the Facebook ads that come out. Sure, they send you something, but it's not exactly what they advertise. You know, if you're smart enough, you can see right on the second step, as soon as you click the link, that the RC does look something like this. Now, it's not the same exact model, but um, I ordered the 116th scale, and I guess this is a 16th scale for, for them, so I think that's kind of on par. But it's definitely not the, this was never pictured in anything on the process that I went through. So, uh, yeah, of course, um, I spent money on this, but, you know, it's, it's, it's for a viable reason. You know, if somebody, if I can just help one person watch this video and deter them from buying this thing, unless they just want to dump it in the pool like I just did, then go right for it. But, you know, just be very careful of the Facebook ads that you see. Don't fall for every one of them. Make sure you do your research and make sure they're a reputable company. This obviously is not one. So this is going to do it for this video, everyone. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and hit notifications. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.